is a multi-biometric identification time and attendance and access control terminal, with the latest palm-slash-fingerprint identification algorithm and streamlined technology. It can hold 600 palm templates and up to 3,000 fingerprint templates. With its contactless features, amazing verification speed and intuitive operation process make it higher demand. In this video, we will teach you the basic user guide for P160. For normal user go to user management tab. Input the name of the user. Set user as normal user. Enroll the user's palm and follow the voice prompt. Please locate your palm in the green area. Open your hand with fingers and touched. Thank you. Enroll your fingerprint three times. Then enroll the user's password. Thank you. Thank you. For super admin enrollment. Go to User Management tab. Input the name of the admin user. Set the user as Super Admin. Enroll the user's palm and follow the voice prompt. Roll your fingerprint three times. Then enroll the user's password. Thank you. Thank you. Access denied. Go to User Management tab, click the All Users. Select which user you would like to delete, then click M OK. Choose Delete. Select Delete User, then press OK. Then the user has been deleted from the device. Connect the LAN cable at the back of the P160 device. Connect the LAN cable to the PC. To check the device IP address, go to the communication tab of the device. Go to IP address and set the IP address to 192.168.1.201. Then subnet mask should be 2 fifth arm. 
To configure the IP address connected to the PC, go to Command Prompt. Type an IP config. Go to Control Panel and navigate to Network and Sharing Center. The unidentified network could mean that the device is connected to the PC. Click the Ethernet. Go to Properties. Click the Ethernet protocol version 4 then set the IP address to 192.168.1.200 then hit OK. Go back to command prompt then type in pin space IP address of the device then hit enter. This data shows that the device is already connected to the PC. Log in to your TouchLink Time Recorder software. Go to Devices tab. Click the Add button, and then the dialog box will appear. Fill up the necessary fields such as terminal name, terminal code, serial number, and key code. And set the communication to IP address and click OK once done. Download the logs from the P160 device to the software, check the P160 device. Then click the download logs from device on the left corner, then hit OK. Once download is complete, go back to the main menu then click the time logs tab. Set the start date and the end date. Then click which employee you would like to view the time logs. And then click the view button. Thank you very much for watching this P160 video tutorial. If you have any video tutorial request just comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see the latest product updates and product tutorial. My solutions, real people with real solutions.